Welcome to Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's show, I'm going to be unboxing uh, some stuff that QNAP sent me. So thank you, QNAP, for uh, lending me these products to go ahead and check them out. I really appreciate it, as do my viewers. Now, before we get started, I just want to go over uh, what this is. This is a NAS, or Network Attached Storage Unit. Uh, this is the TS-TAC-431X3. It's a 4-bay NAS, and it supports 10 gigabit over SFP+, and also 2.5 gigabit over a standard CAT6 Ethernet cable. Here we have a fully managed switch, which is the QSW-TAC-M2108-TAC-2C, and it supports both 2.5 gigabit as well as 10 gigabit, and is a web-managed Ethernet switch. This is also fanless, so even if you stuck it like in your bedroom, it's not going to make any additional noise. Then here we have the Q&A TAC UC 5G1T, which I've already done an unboxing video on, so you might want to go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link up here somewhere. So here we're going to go ahead and unbox the QSW TAC M2108 TAC 2C. Pulling this out, you can see it uh, So here is a little instruction pamphlet. And then we've got the power adapter. And here is the switch. Let's go ahead and open her up. Now this is kind of interesting. The DC power adapter just pops right in like that and it actually swivels around. That is a brilliant design. I love that. Now on the left, the switch has eight 2.5 gig ports and on the right you have either 10 gig SFP plus or over RJ45. Now we go ahead and unbox the TS Tech. 431X3 NAS. Now here, it actually has a welcome and is thanking you for choosing QNAP. This is actually kind of nice to see on a package. And QNAP, thank you for sending me this. Alright, so here is the main NAS. Pull this out. Move that out of the way. So here is the box we took out and opening this up. Looks like you got the manual and a power adapter and some screws and keys and also a ethernet patch cable. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. All right, so turning it over here, you can see there is a SFP plus port here at the top, and then you've got the uh, 2.5 gig and gig uh, connections right here in USB 3. 
You also have the DC power connector here. And as you can see, you got some buttons here on the front and a USB port and then the four drive bays that we're gonna go ahead and pull out here. So now that we have the caddies removed, I'm gonna go ahead and put the NAS over here. And go ahead and get some screws together and grab these drives. I have four 10 terabyte WD reds that I'm going to be putting into this NAS. Well, I hope you guys went ahead and enjoyed today's video, and if you did, go ahead and make sure that you slap that like button if you haven't already, and if you didn't like it, go ahead and slap that dislike button twice so that we know that you mean it.